Welcome back to Let's Play Mega Dimension Neptunia V2R. My name is Karsten. Check with our scouts real quick. Oh, that's an interesting looking one. Uh, let's check him real quick. Let's give him a couple levels. That's fine. All right. And let's see. Can we not deploy anyone? Oh, we are already... Is that where we're supposed to go or not? Well, let's send you someplace. Um, let's send you there since you're good at getting credits. Unless there's someplace else with more credits. Wait, where was... Here? Here's good. That's fine. Okay, um... Get the route over there. We feel the need to go there. For the moment, let's uh, continue on with the story, I guess. Explain what's going on. Small me and her pals are currently being held captive by the dark CPU at the center of this world. So then we can just, just head straight for the middle of the world. Like getting our sisters back is going to be super simple. Art Dimension won't make it so easy. Roma is going to put them to sleep, and their dreams are being projected in this world. The dangerous thing about Kuromi is her ability to interfere with people's dreams. Gold Third's familiar with this power, right? But that truly was the work of the other Uzume? I'm positive Kuromi's trying to get Tiny Me and the others to fall like she did with Gold Third. Then that means Kuromi's objective is to make the CPUs fall. I understand this even less now. Though it really is her. She's the one who tried to use us. That's not all. Jira, or I mean Steamax, told me this, but Ephemogis was being used by her too. Ephemogis was never behind the reorganization of our world. The other Uzume is entirely responsible for making that happen. Which means that person is the mastermind behind Afimax and Gold Third's manipulation. We have to hurry and save them. But I can't imagine Nora falling to delusion just from some silly nightmare. She's way stronger than that, you know? It's not always a nightmare, Uni. She might be showing Nora happiness that Nora longs for, like she did with me. It's incredibly deceitful. My sister's happiness. What could that be? I'm curious about what makes Nep happy, too. Would you have any idea, Kampa? I'm sure she'd dream of lazing about, gaming, leading pudding until she explodes. Well, that's no different from reality, really. Are you curious about what C the CPUs might be dreaming of, Esha? I'm not interested. Is that all you ever say? Quite interested in Noir's dream. I wonder what sort of date Noir and I are having in it. It's already decided that you show up in it, huh? Oh my. We have uh, side quests, huh? Well, I guess we need to check all these and see what's going on here. Wait, oh, we got stuff over here. Going here? Huh? 
We're in Planetune now? That can't be. If it's Planetune, then most likely this is where Nep's dream is physically manifesting. What kind of dream is Nep Nep having? Would be a dream that fulfills their desires, right? I can figure out the other CPUs, but what does Nep desire deep down? Considering your HDD form, you probably can't have a, have a complex about her figure, right? Yeah, besides, she said before it's more fun in her current form. Besides, Nepgear's here too. You can dote on her and be doted on. She has a lot of friends and hobbies too. Nepgear, have any idea? Wonder, now that you bring it up, what really brings Neptune true happiness? Now I'm curious. Since we're here, let's investigate. Oh, there she is. There's Nip Nip. Here, Nip dear, go ahead and take some freshly fried croquettes. Hey, thank you, miss. Here, take our new pudding, too. Tell me how you like it when you're done. Thank you, too, mister. Lady Neptune, look, look. I got a hundred on my test. A hundred? That's amazing. Miss Nep, listen to this. I'm finally a regular at my baseball club. Please watch our tournament. Always we're practicing until late at the river. We'll come to the tournament, so do your best. Nip Nip surrounded by people. And she looks so happy. Everyone's smiling. This can't be possible. Even though it's Nip, her happiness is everyone else's happiness. I thought it'd be some happiness tailored for the lazy CPU, like... Blacking off napping and playing games, or eating puddings and sweets. How can Nep, the least serious person I know, find happiness in something so heartfelt? But Iffy, this is kind of normal for her. Yeah, I've seen this scenery before. Really? Yes, I often go to pick up Neptune after she's done playing. And she's always surrounded by smiles of the people, just like this. Oh, maybe... Maybe? It's just a guess, but maybe Neptune's happiness is an unchanging, peaceful, everyday life. Even if it's a fake piece. Great dream that fits Nepsy. I wonder if I was ever like this before I lost my memories. Right. Let's go over here. Check our scouts. This is last station, yes? This means Noir's dream is physically manifesting itself. Yes, I believe so. Uni, we said we're in a hurry. It was just by chance we came here, by chance. Right, it's not like we can get here on our own. Well, let's hurry and go so we can... Just a second. Since we're here and all, just take a small peek. Me, I knew it. Well, I'm curious and I can't help it. Please, just a little bit. Here, I'd like to request this as well. Can I observe for just a moment? You too, Keisha? Goodness, just make it quick, okay? But where's Noir? No, I'm late, I'm late. I was up so late proofing the script, I overslept. Get to the studio right away to do my voiceover session for that new anime. Okay, so this afternoon, I'm tracking vocals for my new single, and when that's done, I'll go work on some post production for the game. Hey, it's the super popular idol and voice actress, Noir! The anime that was played last night where you voiced the protagonist was really good. Your voice was spectacular. Thanks for watching. The next one will be even better, so please tune in. We definitely will. 
Good luck with all your sessions. Thanks. Anyways, a text? Let's see. Go shopping this afternoon? Uh, hmm. Sorry, have to work next time. And sent. I'll call. Yes, hello? Am I free tonight? You're asking me on a date? I'm flattered, but sorry. I already have plans tonight. But I'll have lunch with you sometime when I feel like it. Talk to you later. Happy when friends invite me out, but it's a really important time for me as a voice actor, so I have to be patient. Oh, that's right. There's a cute new cape shop near the studio tonight, so maybe I should buy a cake for Uni. I at least spend the days I get home early together quietly with Uni. Oh, but I think my career is really about to blow up. Uni's really growing up so fast. It's almost time I leave the nation to her and devote myself to the BO industry. <laughs> what is that, Noir? Being an idle voice actress and dating and keeping up her relationship with Uni really is a mountain of Noir's ideals. But I. Why am I not there? I know all Nora's wishes are granted here, but getting a role as a CPU? That's not the sister I know. Me wait. Or Oh, Uni, it's you. Really going to quit being a CPU? That's right. Far more radiant as a voice actress than a CPU, after all. But I can only do that because you've grown grown as your own person, Uni. I know. Why don't we do the succession ritual tonight? I'm sure if it's you, Uni, that people will gladly accept you. Wrong. Hmm? What's wrong? This is all wrong. This creepy, irresponsible, and cocky Navar isn't my sister at all. Uni? Hey, wait up, Uni! Probably just nervous. Her older sister. I should encourage her by sending her a text later. Can't watch Nora like that anymore. My sanity won't hold up. Epgear, let's hurry on ahead. Let's get back to the normal Noir. Right. Like it was a pretty big shock. Yeah. She's, um, yeah. Oh, I should. Let's see here. Um, there. I guess. Um, let's swap out. Swap you out. Swap you. Uh, in case it forces it, let's go here. At least get one more set of, uh, one more of each of these. skills at least. I'm not gonna go through and spend all the time to get everything on the screen, but I want to at least get some basics in case we get forced into another fight. Those I'll do later. Okay. 
good enough for now. We got a new scout. Give you a couple levels and send you someplace. send you here. Okay, um... Right. And to here. Going here? And freedom's the freaking best. Never want to see that damn book again. I'm happy for you. So, how are the captured CPUs doing? They're resting well. They're gonna be the perfect material for my new dark CPUs. Materials, huh? You're making them using their power as a basis, right? The previous one was just a puppet made to imitate Purple Heart, but these are different. By using the original CPUs, they can absorb and recreate their powers. Then, as a way of repurposing said power, negative energy is injected into them, and they fall further into the whirlpool of delusion. Man, you're getting involved in some pretty spooky and incredibly heartless crap. Jeez. Heartless? This is just the beginning. The true show will be once they fall. got a new place we need to send some scouts. That we have some uh, side things to check first here. Presumably the other dreams. One of these will of course be well, I'm sure that one of these will be uh, blondes and the other verts. Who knows what order, but let's go. Here? Huh? Is this lean box? This is most likely the place where vert streams have physically manifested. I see. And it's not our destination. But you're not interested in this, Esha, so let's head back and find another route. I'm interested. Huh? Isha is also expressing interest in Vert's dream. Yes. Isha too, huh? But this is Vert we're talking about, so I'm sure about a younger sister. Either that, or it's gonna be all of us CPU candidates becoming her younger sisters. Even then, it's fine. Okay, just for a little while then, but where exactly is Vert? I sense first presence from over there. Follow me. Presence is coming from in this room. If I remember correctly, this is Vert's room. Let's try going inside. Um, Vert? That voice. It's you, Nepgear. Splendid timing. I'd like to introduce you, so please come inside. Alright then. What is this? I thought that long so I could read it. But it's so interesting. Then shall we read it together? Is it alright? Of course, sit down here. Okay. Hmm, at their age have picked out first love in the game industry, which in their ad states, a slightly realistic tale of love that would make game creators pale. As expected of my sisters, 
their future looked promising. Um, Vert, who are these two with you? Let me introduce you. This is our middle sister, Bert, and the younger sister, Bert. Now, now, you two please show some respect and greet Nepgear and Esha. Nice to meet you. My name is Bert. I'm Bert. Uh, um, um, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Bert. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. Um, I'm Nepgear. It's nice to meet you too. It's Esha. Thank you, Big Sis Bert. I was able to greet them properly. And we did what is expected of an older sister. Now then, let us continue reading our manga. Mm -hmm. Aren't those two simply the cutest? Y yes, they're very cute. This is true chaos. I have an idea. Since you're here, why don't you two stay and have some tea? I'm sure my sisters will be happy if you did. Nepgear, why not allow yourself to dote on them for a while? My small self is quite good at behaving cutely childish. It's very adorable. Um, I think I'm alright. I think I'd rather be doted on than dote on you, Vert. I might lose my mind if I stay any longer. Nepgear, let's leave. How shocking. To think her wish was to have sisters... I think your wish to have sisters would be granted in this manner. I think there's something else going on here. Something else? Isha wishes to know too. We're listening. I think it stems from her wish of wanting someone to fawn over her and love her too. No one's ever treated her like a younger sibling, and I think she wants to see what that's like. That's why those two smaller sisters revert herself. I'm sure that's what's happening. That's surprisingly deep. And yeah. I, I I knew Bert's dream would be odd. I did not expect it to be odd in that way. But okay. Whatever, Bert. Okay, uh, we need to send... You... Here. Oh, wow. Look at that preview. It looks like wizardry. Like, wizardry one. Green grounds of the bad overlord. Let's, uh, check with Blonde. Huh? What? Here are we suddenly in the Wii? Do you know why, Rom? It might be Blonde's dream. Then that means we can find out what kind of dream Blonde's having. I wonder what it is. I'm pretty curious about this, too. It's not you too, Sisha. Since we're here, just a glance is fine, right? The little one. Hmm. Where is the all-important Blani? Did you call me? Ah, here she is. Oh, God. Do you have some business with me? that look one's chest is really huge the figures so developed I think her shirts might plummet considering reporters probably don't agree with this new look 
Even I'm astonished by this. The power of dreams is to be feared. Why do you all look so surprised? Is there something on my face? One's breaths are jiggling. Goodness, Ram, what are you saying? My breasts are always jiggling. They are this huge, after all. Aren't you cold like that, Blonde? I think Bird is a little more covered up than you are. Not at all. In fact, it's almost too warm. I know. I think I should change into something a little more revealing. Don't you think my charming Aurora would be more accessible that way? Think any further than this isn't the best to show young children. Am I sensing a bit of jealousy? A thin and flattering waist, a large round bottom, and breasts that would make even Vert cry. Aren't I the ideal woman? They say heaven never gives gifts twice. But, as one who's had three or four gifts, do you think I'm cheating a little bit? So, Mom's worries were all about her chest and figure after all. Even if this is just a projection of Lonnie's inner self, it pisses me off. I might just end up punching her. I not blame you. I used to be getting a little carried away. This was wholly unexpected. I hate this blonde. What? What's wrong? Your personality's really mean after you got a bigger chest. I like my small chest, but my kind sister more. I like our smaller sister, too. I'm sure your big boobs are the cause. Let's pop them with this needle, Rom. Uh-huh, just like a balloon. We'll pop them. Wait, Rom, Ram, that's dangerous. Hurry and put it away. No. We'll poke those bad boobs. Don't do it, you two. Throw away that dangerous thing already. I said, when I say no, I mean no. Hey, let me go, you dummy. Come on, hurry and run now. I owe you, Nepgear. It was close. Goodness, it's dangerous to point those things at people. But it's... Totally her chest fault that she got such a horrible personality. But to think, just by eliminating someone's complex, one's personality can change so drastically. But that's awful. What will we do if Plum's chest is getting bigger while she's captured? We have to save her before they get big. We can't stay like this. Let's hurry and save her, Rom. Yeah. Those two just left with a terrible misunderstanding, didn't they? I'll have to clear it up properly afterwards. Otherwise, one might get stabbed with needles. Alrighty then. Let's, uh, just for here? completeness, go back up here. I have to prepare properly. Get that route built. Oops. We go. Going here? And let's check with our scouts. Okay. At least running a little low. Let me just upgrade you maybe to... Yeah, that's fine. But yeah, we'll send you here. Healing Herb and Mithril are both useful. Although, actually, um... we have that has uh 
me see. Uh, I just want to see if we can... Just trying to look real quick. Okay, that's... Still exploring there. Okay. Yeah, we'll leave them as they are. And anyone else that can find hidden treasure that isn't already looking for hidden treasure? Send you there. A low chance, but may as well work on it. All right. Well, I hope you have been enjoying. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.